Good morning, good morning, guys. All right, so we got a few decent movers this morning. Uh, ATRS gapping up some, sitting at 225 now with a high in pre market of 250. Watching TEVA. This one was on my watch list from yesterday, I believe, and it's pushing up nicely at 2122 right now with a high of 2170. Uh, MBRX has been moving some in after hours and pre-market. It's at 240 now, high of 245. Going to watch it over this 250 level. Uh, the SPY is gapping up some again, so the SPY has been pushing up nicely. I think that uh, big kind of crash it had was just a correction, hopefully. And so yesterday it had a really strong day, continued to push up throughout most of the day. And so it's been looking good. The SPY has... Good morning, JT. I'll go ahead and add my watch list to the chat. All right, so here's my watch list. I'm still looking to see what else I can find. ATOS ended up gapping down some. CY gapping up. OILD gapping up some. Good morning, D. Evan, JT. What's up, guys? All right, so you see TEVA and MBRX here. All right, so MBRX just broke over the pre-market high. It's at 247. Let's see which ones of these are tradable on here. ATRS is. TEVA is. TRIP is. MBRX, unfortunately, is not. OMER is. CARA. ARGS is not. PXS is. And AMAG is. So, a majority of the stocks that are, are uh, on my watch list are tradable. All right, here's the free Discord chat link. I also re uh, figured out how to set it to where the free day trading chat link does not expire. And so there's the link there. What's up, Conrad? Uh, yeah, this is, uh, well, this is TradeNet, Conrad. I believe they use their charting with uh, Colmex, 
but um, the executing broker is TEEFs. Uh, MBRX News. No, I haven't checked it out yet, but I'm going to start looking up the news right now. I'll start with MBRX. All right, so MBRX announced a breakthrough, a breakthrough discovery of a new molecule for cancer treatment. It's awesome. I never realized MBRX was uh, a company that did that type of stuff. I've uh, traded it before. That's cool. So it thinks it found a new, a major breakthrough in its efforts to develop a new cancer treatment that se selectively kills high re highly resistant tumors. So that's great. Uh, yeah, and it's pushing up some as well. It just broke over the half dollar. It's right under 260 now at 259. So good news on MBRX. Uh, let's see, ATRS is moving. I know this one was moving yesterday. Okay, so the FDA approved the auto injector for ATRS, so that's why it's running. Uh, TEVA. See if I can find why TEVA is moving. Okay, so TEVA, it says share, shares gained over 8% in after hours trading after a 13F revealed Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway took a new 18 million share stake in the company. TEVA shares climbed 8.64% to $21 in the after hours trading session. And so Warren Buffett bought some shares and now TEVA is pushing up. And MBRX is running nicely here. You can see it got all the way up to 270 now. It's had some resistance there previously, but um, looks interesting right here. Um, no, honestly, Conrad, I, I like the broker. To be completely honest, I don't use the charting software with uh, TradeNet or TEFs. I just use Thinkorswim, as you can see, and put my window up next to it and just execute my trades from this window. But yeah, so far, I don't really have any problems. Um, if you're only going to buy 100 shares, right, it's it's a $1.50 minimum, and so it's a th it's $3 round trip. And so if I get in and out of a trade, uh, it's going to be $3 with 100 shares. Um, and aside from that, it's 0 .006 cents per share. Um, and so it's pretty cheap. I think, uh, I think I've think i looked it up before. I think 1,000 shares is like 6 bucks, but I can't remember exactly. Um, I think it's like six dollars total for a thousand shares, maybe five hundred shares. I can't remember, but yeah, it's cheap commissions. Uh, overall, I like it for the most part. You know, you can't trade everything. The biggest complaint I have with them is that you can't trade uh, a lot of these cheap penny stocks. Like you can see, MBRX isn't available, but most I think eight out of ten were like TVA is. Uh, I don't think ATRS is. Oh, ATRS is. So ATRS is uh, TRIP is O M E R C A R A. Uh, the only ones that aren't available are MBRX and uh, ARGS, I believe, if I remember correctly. 
everything else is though um, PXS which is a dollar twenty stock is and so some of these are you know Uh, no, JT. Uh, at least not that I know of. I'm pretty sure. I, I'm, I don't think I do. Like, I've only got a small amount of equity. I can release it. I've got like $10 equity in uh, my Thinkorswim account. $18.61 net liquidity. Um, I took money out. I think I left a very small amount when I did decide to take the money out. I'm trying to remember what I'm holding. Uh... Let me try monitor. Let's see what I'm holding. Yeah, I'm holding ALRT, which is like a really cheap penny stock. Let's look at it. Yeah, it's at about 40, or about, at about four cents right now. And it's been moving some. I probably could have sold, but yeah, I'm just going to hold this one in case it does ever decide to go supernova again. Uh, JT, I think I just like, I think when I started my uh, Thinkorswim account, I just deposited a really small amount. Uh, I think I deposited like 20 bucks. And, you know, my account's been open ever since. You know, and so I just created an account with TD Ameritrade and deposited a really small amount of money, like twenty dollars, and uh, that was like two years ago, over two years ago, I think, really. And uh, ever since then, I've had free, uh, you know, free real time charting and uh, level two and everything like that. So. Yeah, I don't even, I don't think you necessarily have to deposit anything. I think what you have to do is you have to create an account um, with TD Ameritrade and download Thinkorswim. And then I think, you, you know, you get access to Thinkorswim. To get real time, you have to sign some type of disclosure or something, uh, you know, verifying you're not a full-time professional trader. And thus, they'll update you and give you real-time charting. As long as they make sure you're not a professional trader, you know. Yeah, level two is free, man. I've been using it for a few years. Good morning, Atheon. All right, so MBRX is still looking pretty strong here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be watching the TVIX uh, Barum, or Barum. Um, it's one of those stocks I'm gonna be watching almost every day. It's down, obviously, because the SPY, as you can see, is up. 
And so I'll be keeping an eye on the TVIX as well. ITUS. Yeah, ITUS looks interesting. It's uh, it's right at break even, but um, it's right around the half dollar. We'll see if it holds support there. NBRX looks pretty good. Right, appreciate that, Dan. Yeah, Dan with the walkthrough. Appreciate it, man. Awesome. Appreciate the help. But yeah, um, you know, like Dan said, you got to sign the non-disclosure agreement, um, or the the non-professional agreement stating and verifying you're not a professional trader. And once they're signed, uh, you should have real-time data updated. And so. It's a really awesome platform. You know, there's so much stuff you can do on Thinkorswim. I can play Tetris on Thinkorswim. I can play Minecraft if I want to while I'm trading, waiting for setups. Um, if you go to their video section, like you get access to live CNBC. And so you can watch, uh, you know, TV. You can watch CNBC from your Thinkorswim platform uh, while you're trading to get like updates on news. Uh, there's a free Benzinga Squawk chat room where they update you on all the news and press releases that are coming out, which is probably one of the best uh, benefits to Thinkorswim is you get a free Benzinga Squawk, um, you know, updated chat room link. It comes with it, and without Thinkorswim, Benzinga Squawk I think is like a hundred bucks a month, maybe more. And with Thinkorswim, you can get it for free. AUY. Yeah, it looks interesting. Sitting right around that half dollar area at 350. Yeah, right. You get free uh, CNBC video so you can watch TV while you're trading. Yeah, I remember when they called me, Dan. I remember. Um, you know, I'm in Texas, so I remember the the uh, a lady from the Texas branch called me once I set it up. And I've actually I've actually traded with uh, Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade. Like, I don't know if if you've guys seen any of my older videos. Like, there's a few where I'm actually trading on Thinkorswim, and uh, I love the platform. You know, really good bro uh, broker. Um, you know really easy to use for the most part it takes a little bit of time but once you kind of get it down you get it down you know dpw uh burham i get uh i use um trade net which is teefs uh to execute my trades and through for charting i use thinkorswim yeah dpw is still gapping up some dpw usually gaps up or down some amount throughout the pre-market session most of the time like it always moves some but it's pushing up nicely in the last few days still dpw is one of those stocks that i just simply do not trust very much you know to be honest right what's up george Yeah, I've heard of Tasty Works. So the dude that, uh, the guy that actually created Tasty Trades or whatever it's called, he's the guy that invented Thinkorswim, the platform. He eventually sold it to TD Ameritrade, but the guy that, uh, the founder of Tasty Trades or whatever it's called, is the, uh, you know, he's the creator of the Thinkorswim platform. He eventually sold it to TD Ameritrade for some ridiculous amount of money. I think it was like $100 million or 50 million or some huge amount of money um but yeah he's the one that cr actually created thinkorswim the platform i don't agree with him in regards to his mentality with trading um i've watched some interviews with him i can't remember his name but from what he says he doesn't believe in technical analysis or short-term trading at all 
Um, he thinks the market is completely random and, um, you know, the only way to really profit from the market is to, uh, you know, take long term trades, you know, and, you know, just kind of get big numbers doing long term trades over and over again. Uh, fundamental trader, I think, is uh, what he is. So, yeah, I don't agree with him in that aspect, but the dude's obviously pretty smart. He invented Thinkorswim, and Thinkorswim is one of the coolest platforms. So. But, yeah, there's just too many. I mean, you can see ATRS here. For it to bounce directly off of 250, and this happens on a daily basis, um, stocks will just bounce off half in whole dollars with technical analysis. It, but he still doesn't believe it. Um, you know, technical analysis, like I've gone over it before. The only reason it works is because other people think it works. You know what I mean? And so other people are watching for setups. And the more people that are looking for a specific setup or strategy, you know, the more momentum it's going to have to go in your direction. And that's why it works, you know. Good morning, Gennardo. PRPO, Patrick. Yeah, PRPO looks interesting. Little cheap stock. Gapping up some. Needs some more volume, though. But MBRX is pushing up really nicely so far in pre-market. Maybe that's why. I don't know. I know the dude's a smart guy. I can't really hate on him. Um, I've also seen him, like, I've seen him in a few different stuff. I've seen him in, like, a uh, like a stock trading documentary. I can't remember what it was called. It might have been Floored about the old old school, um, you know, New York Stock Exchange and Chicago uh, Mercantile Exchange traders that traded on the floor. Uh, I saw him in a documentary about that. And so I've seen him in a few stuff, but really smart guy. He just doesn't believe in uh, technical analysis trading, I don't think. Oh, 600 million, man. MR, I was way off, dude. <laughs> I told you, it was some ridiculous amount of money, man. And 600 million, that's that's a lot of money. The dude doesn't need to trade at all. You know, the dude's set for life, you know. But man, 600 million, I was way off. Sheesh. Ton of money right there. But I mean, hey, Thinkorswim's probably one of the best stock trading platforms in the world. You know what I mean? And so... TD Ameritrade wanted it, and I think it ended up working out for him because a lot of people sign up for TD Ameritrade strictly for this platform, you know. Okay, so Ken Johnson, to find um, Benzinga Squawk, you go to support slash chat in the right top of your screen. You can see I'll bring it over. Um... You go to chat rooms, and you can see all the way at the bottom, Benzinga Squawk. And you can just go to that. Uh, you can go to listen. You got to make sure your audio is turned on because, you know, when they announce a news or press release, uh, you, you'll listen to it. Like, you'll be able to listen to the news and press release. Yeah, I, I kind of agree with that, Dan. Um, it's a little slow, a little laggy compared to some of the other ones. But just all the tools it provides, it's uh, you know, I think it's something that every trader should have is a you know a Thinkorswim account, just because it's so useful for so many different stuff. Really versatile platform, um, allows you to do so much stuff. Has so many awesome tools like like free CNBC, uh, you know, Benzinga Squawk, free chat rooms, everything like that. You know, it's just a really good tool to have. BTG, SHLD. Yeah, SHLD. 
Got a really nice volume spike. Came all the way back down, but it's moving some. Definitely going to watch this one. Yeah, BTG just needs a little bit more volume. Looks like a little hot, a little bit higher float of a stock. In DAQ. Yeah, I'm going to have to learn options one day, insurance. But yeah, this one's got a nice little channel forming on the daily. But yeah, I'm going to have to learn options one day, man. I've always been a little curious about them. Um, but never really got, I'm just kind of astray from things I don't understand that much. And options is definitely one of those things I don't understand that much, so. Right, that's kind of what I do. Uh, Ken, may, you might not have, did you ever sign the agreement stating you're not a professional trader? Um, you may have to sign the agreements to get that, I'm not 100% sure. Dan might know, ask Dan. Uh, hey Dan, do you know if to, to get access to Benzinga Squawk, do you have to sign the uh, contracts stating you're not a professional trader for the data? IMPX is gapping down some. SPWR is doing the same, both gapping down. ATUS is trying to creep back up here and it's actually gapping up from where it closed now. Oh, I'm not sure. Um, I mean, it may be one of those things where you have to have a very, you know, you have to have some equity in your account. Like you can see mine, I have like 10 bucks equity, like maybe $20 net liquidity um, in my account. And so you might have to have a small amount of money. I can't guarantee either one of those things. Uh, yeah, the best thing to do is call them. But what's up, Ken? Man, I haven't seen you in a while, Ken. Ken Johnson, where you been at, bro? Uh, INPX is an offering. MBRX. Sitting at 281 now. We'll watch it to test three at the open. Appreciate it, Dan. Appreciate the help, man. I wonder why GE and E is doing this. It's not letting me see it really. It's only letting me see the last, uh, not even the full day. I don't know what's going on with that. RVP looks a little interesting. I mean, technically it's gapping down some, but I like it over this 93 cent level. Oh, nice, Ken. Nothing wrong with that, man. Practice is always good, you know. Nice, Dan. Yeah, see, that's why I, I wish I would have known that you could have real time and think or swim. Um, paper trading because when I first got started I would have loved to do that I would have loved to paper trade with thinkorswim using real time
you know, because really I just stuck to on demand. On demand is a really cool feature as well. Allows you to go back and trade any day of the market you want within the last few years. And uh, you can trade it and just kind of experience any day you want to in the market. You can select the date, put in the time. I usually just set it to 930 and trade the open. You know, but I can go back to last week and trade the open on Tuesday or whatever it is. Really cool tool. Good morning, James. Yeah, I'm going to try to update my speed in Thinkorswim. Um, you can update your speed by going to Setup, Application Settings, and then go to System, and go to Real Time. Um, that'll make it so, you know, the quotes you're getting a real time and the charts you're getting a real time. But uh, Thinkorswim had a little bit of trouble keeping up with it last time. So I'll see how it works, but if it starts to lag, I'm just going to go back to the one second delay thing. Vice Abago. I've heard really good things about the TC, uh, TC2000 platform. Nice, Atheon. All right, guys, we got five minutes left until the open. MBRX is slowly creeping towards that uh, previous high. What's up, Andre? Good morning, man. Yeah, insurance. I've heard great things about interactive brokers. That's really the broker I plan to use one day. Uh, the problem is you have to have uh, at least 10,000 equity in your account. So for new traders that don't have that much money, um, you know, you can't really use IB. But if you do have that much money, you know, it sounds like they're the, they're the broker to have, really. Morning, Ant. What's up, man? All right, guys, we got three minutes. All right, so TVIX is down, SPY is up. We'll see what the SPY does at the open here. I'm going to give it a little bit more time, uh, analyze kind of how it acts at the open this morning. Man, that's crazy. Super high margin rate for TD. All right, guys. Open is in about two minutes. Good luck, everyone.
All right, guys, we got a minute left. Good luck. Yeah, I've heard good things about light speed as well. Uh, it's kind of a dream of mine to get IB or light speed one day. Hopefully, I'll have 25K in equity. I'm going to keep trying until I get there. All right, so the TVIX continues to drop here before the open. The SPY continues to push up. Yeah, I got ATRS on my other monitor, Javier. It's at 225 now. Going to keep an eye on it for sure as well. All right, opens in 10 seconds. Good luck, all. Hope everyone does great today. All right, so there's the open. Right, so MBRX is dropping here. We'll see if it holds over 250. ROW getting a little spike here. All right, so the TVIX is running with the spy dropping. Everything else is kind of washing. You can see SHLD washing. Watching ATOS here. And the TVIX continues to push while the SPY drops. Alright, I'm in the TVIX going long. It is probably going to drop here. It's due for a bounce, I think. Yeah, that was me rushing through it. I should have seen the whole dollar here. Small loss, no worries, but waiting for a bounce here. And BRX is starting to run here, testing three and ATOS, guys. Look at ATOS here. TOS breaking the pre-market high, starting to push up nicely. If 
few little bounce plays here. Spies continuing to drop. Down to the 60s on the spy. Man, I don't know why the T-Vix isn't uh, bouncing more with this big drop on the spy. It should be bouncing more. Spy's dropping nicely for it, but T-Vix for some reason doesn't want to continue. Well, that's frustrating. The T-Vix wasn't it's supposed to follow it a little bit better than that, but now that the spy's bouncing back up, I got in good. I tried to hold it through the bounce, but the spy's kind of rebounding here. I got out. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it was a good trade. The T-Vix just didn't follow it as close as I wanted it to. The Spy dropped a lot after I got into it, but the T-Vix just didn't go up that much after the big drop in the Spy. Weird. ABP, SID, TROV a little cheaper, pushing up some, GOGO, G 
Geo Geo. Yeah, it's got a lot of decent volume. Not really big volume, but it's pushing up nicely. SRNE breaking the high of day here. SRNE. Yeah, I'm keeping it out in MBRX as well. Spy's trying to rebound here. SRNE's trying to run. Really nice volume with SRNE. Up to 895 now. Yeah, MBRX just dropped a decent amount back down to 275 now. PIRS. Yeah, PIRS is running. AVP CNET JCP JC Penny APRI here trying as well GLMD. Yeah, GLMD is getting some volume in. Pushing up at 668 now. High of the days at 675. Yeah, honestly, guys, I got to be more disciplined and give the spy and the TVIX a little bit of time to kind of form a range there. Um, you know, I got in the TVIX good, like the SPY dropped really nicely after I got into it, but the TVIX didn't follow it enough. I feel like I need to wait a little bit longer because the more volatile uh, the SPY and the TVIX is, um, you know, the less it's going to follow each other, if that makes sense, in my opinion. M-A-R-K, V-R-I-A-Y, I-C-O-N. ARGS trying to rebound here. ARGS. FTR. ARGS looks good. Just broke the high of the day. I may jump in ATRS on Robinhood. Or ARGS on Robinhood. You know, I was thinking about it, but it had that big drop right after that. I may wait a little while. Keeping an eye on MBRX as well.
SID. BW. DPW breaking the high of the day here. That's not a bad entry, Andre. I mean, it's a little bit higher than that now. You're still up some. Yeah, it seems like the TVIX wants to go down more than uh, the SPY is actually going. You got out of MBRX. I mean, it's up to 283 or 282 now. Hey, profitable trade's a profitable trade, Andre. Good job, man. FOSL. All right, there goes MBRX. It looks like it was the right time to get out, man. Good job, man. All right, so we got spies being a little sketchy this morning, bouncing up and down. Gonna wait. Right, man, that was a good trade, Andre. Good job, man. Matrix did, huh? <laughs> All right, so they got FOLD, EWH. Uh, really choppy action in the spy this morning. MBRX yet. Yeah, let's see if we can hold support uh, where that support was previously, or where that resistance was previously at about two seventy two. MBRX starting to rebound here. It's at 275 now. VLRS pushing up some. V-Ray pushing up some. OHGI pushing up some. That's rough, Andre. Yeah, my son had the flu a few days ago, or a few week, a week or two ago. Not, not fun at all, man. All right, so MBRX is bouncing back here. It's at two eighty. 
We'll see if we can get back up over three. Uh, P, the stock P, Pandora, pushing up some. I know DPW was earlier. It's still kind of choppy. MOBL, trying. SRNE still slow grind up here. Up to 940, going to test 950, it looks like. OHDI, yep. NG. SRNE. Yeah, SRNE slowly creeping up. Pulling back here. The SPY and the TVIX have just been kind of unpredictable this morning. I may have to start upping my range some or my sheer size some because of the TVIX being a cheaper stock it's going to have a, a smaller range now and so I may have to start using 40 50 shears nice Dan awesome trading man appreciate it bro appreciate your help man SRNE trying again after a little pullback here BW Yeah, BW has been slowly grinding up here Not too much volume APRI APRA looks okay SRAX Getting a volume spike SRAX here TTPH, VLRS, ARGS had a big drop. Glad I never got into that one. RADA, PIRS, SRNE, and PIRS are running up big. Spies pushing up some. BW. Look at BW here, up to 263, breaking the high of the day. SRNE. FLEX, getting a volume spike, starting to push.
There's the break of the high of the day on FLEX. MRNS, guys, look at MRNS here coming back, breaking the high of the day as well. Thanks, Andre, man. Awesome. Appreciate the super chat. Uh, uh, shout out to Andre for the $10 donation, man. That's awesome, Andre. Thanks, bro. Appreciate the support, man. It means a lot, dude. Thanks, man. Awesome, bro. That's crazy, man. Appreciate the $10 donation, dude. Good job, man. Good job, Andre. Appreciate the support, man. Nice trading, though. All right, so MBRX is starting to rebound here. It's at 286. Trying to kind of get a hold of what the market's doing here. Big drop. TUM at 211. Yeah, you're finally back, man. Hey, nice uh, discipline there, holding that, man. Good job. Thanks again, though, Andre, if you're still here, man. Appreciate the support, bro. Also, welcome, uh, Keith. Thanks for subscribing, man. Also, uh, SPR Speed, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Appreciate it. NVDA. So you keep talking about it, insurance. I'm going to have to check it out now. NVIDIA. I know this one's NVIDIA. Yeah. Push it up nicely. Nice job, insurance. I might have to go check out options one day, man. SRNE pulling back some. Go, go is going. What's up, meter? Welcome. Welcome from Texas, man. Go, go. Yeah, go, go's trying here. Gonna watch it over this 992 uh, level. All right, so the spy is really trying to get over that half dollar area. MBRX went up to 290s, making a pullback here. APRI. APRI is still climbing here, testing three now, about to at least. APRA at 299 and MBRX trying to make a comeback here watching over three this one had really good news with MBRX or at least a good press release
RIOT, XNET, DPW, BSTI breaking the high of the day. It's at 968 now. SGYP. Yeah, it does need a little bit more volume. BSDR getting that volume in. MRNS. Watching MBRX here on Robinhood. Looking at AMAG here. Slowly creeping up towards that $17 high. MARA. MARA breaking over three. I believe this is a blockchain crypto related stock, if I remember correctly. But a MARA pushing up, trying to break three now. MBRX pulling back some, down to 270s. Yeah, the SPY and the TVX are just a little bit too unpredictable right now. Trying to get over that half dollar. All right, so there's the break of the half dollar on uh, the spy. I don't want to get stuck in a fake out again. I'm gonna give it a little bit of time. OHGI. Look at OHGI here, getting a little bit of volume coming in. Up to 130 on OHGI. Yeah, that's probably a good idea, insurance. I like holding half dollars as well. Whole and half dollar trades need to be really quick though from what I see. A lot of times they'll break over the half dollar and they'll push up nicely and then they'll just completely wash. And so you got to be quick with them. OHGI though. OHGI up to 133 now. FOSL, it finally broke under that support. Yep. Right, exactly, insurance. That's how you got to do half and whole dollars because a lot of times they'll have that momentum to push over, over or under the half or whole dollar. 
but many times they'll quickly bounce back, you know. Big pullback on OHGI. All right, so I'm watching the spy here, see what it does. It looks like it's going to pull back some. You can see a little triangle going on here in the spy, though. It just keeps bouncing, though. Significant pullback in the spy here. Yeah, Spy's just kind of going sideways right now. AMAG here. Check out AMAG. Breaking over the high of the day. Running some now. It's up to 1740. Really, there's just not any big enough moves for me to really make money from uh, the SPY TVIX trade right now. You got to wait for big swings, and right now there's not really any big swings going on with it. I mean, this drop may be good. SRNE. Yeah, we'll see if we can get back over that 950 level. Big drop on the SPY. Big push on the TVIX. Now that the TVIX has a slider range, I think I said it earlier, I need to use larger share size if I'm going to trade it. Right, I, that's what I needed to move a little bit more than it's been doing for me to make money. Um, I mean, you can always trade the TVIX, do the opposite, you know, just trade the counter position on the TVIX, but you know, these swings are too small. Would have been a really nice, you see the channel formed here. Once it broke the channel, this would have been a really nice long trade but missed it, hesitated a little bit too much. LBCC, what's up, Dan? Yeah, LBCC's pushing up. Not too much volume, though.
Spy continues to wash here. Still going to wait for a high up the day break or something like that to get into it. Don't want to overtrade. APRI. APRI is steady pushing here. Got over three, came back down, held it as support. Now it's up to 308. All right, so the spy continues to wash here. So I'm looking for a bounce right here at 275 or at 75, and then I want it to continue dropping, but it needs to bounce. I'm not just going to jump in blindly after this big pullback, you know. Too big of a chance it finds some support here at the low of the day. Broke the low of the day, but like I said, I want to bounce first. Because when it bounces, it's going to bounce big, most likely. There's the bounce. YRIV. I mean, it's a OTC stock, it looks like. It's just not moving at all. Um, that's why it kind of looks like this. It's just not moving. All right, MBV, MBRX just broke the high of the day. All right, so here goes the spy. This is when I would get into it. All right, so I jumped in the spy. And it bounced all the way back. Not what I wanted to see. Now it looks like it's going to rebound. Definitely not what I wanted to see.
All right, so we'll see if the SPY is going to break the low of the day here. May have gotten in a little bit too early with this one. All right, there we go. That's the drop I was looking for. Let's see if it continues here. Hopefully it won't bounce. There we go. Down to the 40s. So it broke the low of the day. We'll see if it continues heading down here. Don't want to see it bounce, which it looks like it may be doing. I give it a little bit of time, but y'all want to see it continue dropping. Yeah, appreciate it, man. I should have used a little bit larger share size, I think. Because it looks like it's bouncing here. I want to see it get back under that half dollar. Continue heading down is really what I want, obviously. There we go. See if it continues down here. Wants to find some support here, though. Not really the bounce I want to see. Let's see it get back under that half dollar. Down into the 40s. There we go. Let's see if it continues this time. Keeps testing that level. Seems to keep finding support there though. I'll give it a little bit of time, try to let it work for me.
No, William. Uh, I'm I'm trading the T-Vix. The T-Vix does the opposite of what the SPY does. And so when the SPY drops, the T-Vix goes up. Currently, I'm long on the T-Vix because the SPY was dropping. But now it's rebounding here, which is frustrating. And it looks like it's going to keep going. So aggravating trade for sure. Spy pushing up all the way, bounced, went, broke under the low of the day. It just trapped me. So aggravating trades for sure. I'll let it test that 271 level. If it breaks over that, then I'll get out on the spy. Definitely being a little unpredictable this morning, though. And I'm out. Frustrating, aggravating trade. Broke the low of the day. Just didn't do enough. Just kind of faking me out over and over again. Frustrating trade. I, you know, I've, honestly, guys, I, I had a lot of hope in this setup, and so the fact that it's uh, it hasn't been working out for me has been pretty frustrating the last few days. Last week, I only had uh, one losing day using this setup, and I think it was just because the market was so volatile that um that I was able to, you know, profit from the volatility. Now it's just choppy, sideways action, fake people it fakes me out when it breaks the low of the day and continues. So, just aggravating trading day for sure. I am holding MBRX with an entry of 318 on Robinhood, so that one's going my way, but these spy TVX trades have been aggravating me for sure. Yep. Yeah, the market stabilized a little bit, Atheon. And with that, it's just a little bit less reliable. I mean, my MBRX trade's going my way, so that's nice. But still aggravating to uh, get faked out on the low of the daybreak. Right, Philip, that's what I'm thinking as well. I actually said I was a little bit worried about that earlier this week. I thought that... Uh, it might have just been the volatility, but now this thing is just sideways choppiness on the spy. LBCC. Yeah, for this setup to work, the, the market has to be volatile. And with the volatility gone in the SPY and the TVIX, it's just not as effective. Something I've been learning. Oh well, moving on. MRO. I mean, I think it'll still work, but it, I'll have to uh, use a little bit larger sizing and take some smaller scalps with the TVIX spy setup. LBCC big drop here.
Probably going to jump out MBRX for a break-even trade on Robinhood right here as well. I mean, the best... Uh, I'm, now that this setup's a little bit less volatile, I'm trying to think of the best uh, strategy to use with the SPY TVIX. One of them is just kind of getting in and playing the range here on the SPY. You know, when it forms a low of the day, uh, getting in and trading off of the low of the day and high of the day, but not breaks using the high and low of the day as support and resistance. LBCC, Dan, yeah, we'll see if it finds some support here at this 360 level. Seems to be bouncing off of there nicely. But yeah, I'm going to have to use a little bit larger sizing and just take some small scalps in the SPY TVIX if uh, it's less volatile. G E N S R E V G L M D Market's kind of going down in the market. Let's look at the daily on the spy, see how it's been acting. Yeah, it's just rebounding from this huge drop. But definitely an unpredictable chart on the spy. Tough to trade. Same thing with the TVIX. Yeah, I'm up a little bit. I'm up about five bucks on MBRX. I'm a little worried it's going to get rejected at this 330 level again, though. I'll probably end up exiting soon if it doesn't do what I want it to. But, I mean, I, I had a small, nice gain on it on Robinhood with a 318 entry. We go ahead and get out here on MBRX for a small gain. All right, so I got out for about a $5 gain with my 50 shares on uh, MBRX. Appreciate it, insurance. I don't know about my exit, though. It may continue to push here. I'm just worried it's going to get rejected at 330 again, but looks to be pushing up nicely here. On MBRX, there's 330, 333. Yeah, horrible exit, apparently. 
Could have waited a little bit longer, but no worries. Profitable trade is a prof profitable trade. I'll take it. LBCC continues to wash. See if it bounces off of that 360 support. Market slowed down a lot. Yeah, I'll take it. Insurance gains a gain, and it quickly dropped down to uh, 326 right afterwards, so no worries with it. All right, so market slowed down a lot, guys. I'm going to go ahead and close the stream down now. Don't see any good setups on the SPY and the TVIX. Nothing else is really moving aside from MBRX and LBCC. And so I'll keep watching those for the rest of the day. But with all that being said, I'll probably end up closing the stream down now. If you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button if you want to continue to watch me day trade my small accounts live at the open every weekday morning, win or lose. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, everybody do me a favor. If you appreciate this content, click the like button right now on this video. It does help support us, and we appreciate the support, guys. But, yeah, good luck for the rest of the day, everyone. I'll see you guys later. Um, I'll probably stop focusing on the SPY TVIC setup as much, depending on how it acts in the upcoming days, unless I see some more volatility. But, yeah, small loss today, about $10 or $15 after commissions. Uh, in the grand scheme of everything so not a horrible day not a really big loss so no worries on that good luck for the rest of the day guys see you guys later appreciate all the support and thanks for watching guys